Hey, what's up, Phone Sites users? So if you're trying to embed a YouTube video into your landing page and you want to prevent the user from seeing auto-suggested videos at the end, kind of like what you're going to see right here. So you can see here in YouTube, um, after the end of that video, they, they suggested a bunch of other uh, videos by 21 Pilots, right? So if you want to prevent that from happening, in this case, they, they're auto-suggesting other content by the same uh, YouTube channel creator, right? But oftentimes what you'll find is, is a bunch of stuff that's completely unrelated to what you have, uh, it's auto-suggested. And sometimes it can be um, kind of, I don't know, like, like maybe uh, perhaps distracting away from the rest of your landing page, right? And you wanna prevent someone from clicking through that and getting lost on YouTube for the rest of the day and not filling out your contact information, right? So. We can adjust that. We can um, take the URL that you're using to embed into your landing page and adjust it so that your video is going to be on loop and none of this will appear. So what you're going to do is you're going to need to grab the, um, the unique code that is associated with that video. So you can see right here when I went to click on, I'll just show you really quickly here. So in um, YouTube, like where it's embedded in here, there's a share button in here. And I'll show you also out in YouTube itself where that's at. But if I click into this, you'll see that there's a random string of characters listed right here. Everything after the YouTube.be forward slash. This random string of characters is unique for this video. So we're going to need that. So um, if I copy that, actually, if I click into that, it's going to open up in a new window. But anyways, that brings me to the next point anyways. I was going to show you where you could find this out in YouTube itself if you're opening up in a, a new tab. So you can see in here, um, up here, it, it, maybe it's a little hard to see here on my um, my computer, but up in my address here, up in the address bar, after youtube.com forward slash watch question mark V equals E, or sorry, V equals everything after the equal sign and before the ampersand, that's the unique string that I just showed you back over here. So we got... I'll read it off to you. E J N Q B X M seven or M Z seven E K. That's the same thing that I have right over here, right? I know that's kind of a mouthful, but if you go down here, if you click on share down here too, so click on share there, I get that string right there, and it's a little easier to see it again instead of trying to pull it out of the address bar. But it's everything after that forward slash in the share button. Okay, so if I were to highlight that and then um, I'm not gonna click copy over here because if I click copy there, I'm gonna copy the entire string. Um, what I'm gonna do is just right click and then go to copy. So I've got that little string of characters that I need. Okay, so enough of that. I'm gonna go back to phone sites. Okay, so over here in phone sites, what I'm gonna do really quickly, before I add in a YouTube block, I'm going to type out the URL that I need for um, embedding this YouTube video, okay? Now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna, I'm gonna expand or I'm gonna maximize the, the screen resolution here for you a little bit so it's easier to read. Okay, now I'm gonna go down here and I'll just I'll randomly pick um, a text block here. Let's just type it in there in the text block. Okay, so I'm gonna type in HTTPS, too many T's there, www dot, oops, too many W's, I can't type it all today, YouTube, dot com forward slash embed forward slash and then that random string of alphanumeric characters that i had just copied from right over here i'm going to put that in after the embed forward slash okay and then i'm going to put in a, a question mark and i'll put in let's see autoplay which may not work on mobile um the, the maker of your, your uh, browser app on mobile may not allow for autoplay here. Um, let's see here. And then I'm gonna put in and REL equals zero, and then semicolon loop equals one, ampersand playlist equals, and then cop, or sorry, uh, paste in that random string again. So this, basically what we're telling um, this URL here is that, so here's the, the video that's being embedded here and it's gonna autoplay on desktop for sure. It might not autoplay on mobile. Um, and then we wanna loop this one time and the playlist is just gonna be this video. If you had like a, an actual playlist of a bunch of videos 
created in what's called a playlist in YouTube, then it would loop through that entire playlist. But in this case, we're just going to use this video as the playlist. And that should be good. So let's go ahead and copy this. And actually, I don't need this text block anymore. Um, I'll keep it for a second. I want to show you something else real quick. So I'm going to go ahead and select add block and go to YouTube and replace this video here. So now we got this 21 pilots uh, YouTube video in here. And um, let's see here. Okay, let's go ahead and save that. <laughs> let's go ahead and open this up over here in the browser. And um, ignore this right here. This is just where I have that URL added down here in the text block, right? So ignore that over here. But anyways, I'm going to skip ahead real quick, and I'm going to go to like the last couple seconds and check to make sure that this actually works. So let's go to 19 minutes into the, or sorry, 19 seconds after the five minute mark in this video. And then you're, there you go. So it's starting to autoplay. It didn't even show those other suggested videos, and it's going right back to the beginning of the video. So that works. Cool. Um, all right. So what I wanted to show you, though, back over here, back in this text box, uh, what I was going to do is I'm going to give you this code in the post that I create in the group. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this a little easier for you. So I'm just going to, where I have my unique code here, so this is going to be your uh, replace this with your YouTube video code. So that should be pretty obvious, right? And let's just replace that too. Okay, so you'll have this entire string here. And like I showed you, all you're going to have to do is just find that um, unique code for your video. Where was that? Right over here. Find that unique code and drop it in where I have replaced this with your YouTube, code, YouTube video code. Uh, don't delete or don't replace that question mark or any of this other stuff. Just replace exactly what I have right here where it says replace this with your YouTube video code. All right, guys. Hope that helps.